Welcome to Antigua, the land of 365 beaches, sweet or deadly, as it's fondly called by the locals. In this episode, we are going to experience the entire island. When it comes to size, it measures about 108 square miles, making it small but incredibly diverse. It is about 14 miles in length and about 11 miles at its widest point. Believe it or not, you can drive through the entire island in just about two and a half to three hours. I love this. I yeah. know many people might not notice, but this is Antigua. It is Antigua. And in a pineapple. In a pineapple. Yeah. I'm also on a mission to try Antigua's black pineapple, which is known as the sweetest pineapple in the world. This special pineapple grows only in Antigua. It is smaller than other pineapples and has a yellow skin that turns nearly black when it's fully ripe, giving it the name black pineapple. We made it to Betty's Hope. Get ready to experience the island like never before, from the beautiful sun-drenched beaches to the misty, rainy rainforest. Zipline Antigua, if you want to come for Zipline, this is the place in the rainforest. And from the historic landmarks to hidden local treasures, we are exploring every corner of this beautiful island. This one. Okay. Uh -huh. That one is the block house. Yeah. And the little building there is the interpretation center where you get a video of the history of the island. Okay. We'll even try our hand at buying a boat. <laughs> you know, Antigua is known for sailing and so many boats. So we're going to try and buy a boat. Oh, the catamaran in Nelson's dockyard. Yeah. Sure, that's a barley. And we are also going to meet and interact with friendly locals and uncover fascinating stories of a shared drink. You can open and you can close. Oh, oh you can open and you can close. That's How it. does it look? Fine, you look fine. 10, look out, of 10. Fine. ten out of 10 minus nothing. Let me give you the rose. Sorry. You give me the rose. Yeah, 100%. Thank yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you so much. You don't kiss the rose, you should kiss me or him. <laughs> Look at my goosebumps. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Join me in this unforgettable adventure filled with culture, charm, and surprises at every turn. So they used to own this too. Okay. At, at Shirley Heights. This is the English history, yeah. which we, the young ones, don't really care about it anymore. Mm -hmm. They have it for fighting, we have it for party. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, That's a good one. So we're starting here at the Vivian Richard Stadium, which is the cricket stadium. I actually attended a match here some few days ago. So buckle up for an adventure of your lifetime. In case this is your first time to this YouTube channel, my name is African Tigress, a content creator from Kenya in Africa right now in Antigua and Barbuda. So make sure you hit the like button, share and subscribe and let's do this. Let's go. Who was Vivian Richards? He's our legend. He's from Antigua. Yeah. He's one of the best player play on the West Indies cricket side. Oh. So he's a legend in the entire Caribbean, even in other bigger countries, England. He's uh -huh. well known. Okay. He's one of the best cricketers play the game. So this stadium was set in honor of him. That's correct, yeah. Oh, okay. That's lovely. Unfortunately, we're not able to go in to give you a tour, but yeah, what are our major stops today? Well, I'm going to take you on the eastern side of the island. I'm going to take you to Betty's Hope, yeah. which is our sugar plantation. Then I'm going to take you to Devil's Bridge. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you to Long Beach, yeah. one of the best beach in Antigua. Uh -huh. Then we're going to go over to Shirley Heights, Nelson's Dockyard. Yeah. We're going to do Falmouth Harbor as well. Uh -huh. We're going to go to the rainforest as well. Uh -huh. And then we're going to go around to Turner's Beach. We're going to mm -hmm. go around to... Um, Fry's Beach as well, yeah. going to Jolly Harbor. Uh -huh. And we're going to come straight around, then we go on the south side, back to the north side of the island. All right, all yeah. right. I'm so excited about it. And if you're visiting Antigua and Barbuda and you're interested in having tours around the country, the island, we got Shane here. Every time. <laughs> Thank you. <All> right, <laughs>
economically, Antigua thrives on tourism, which is its largest industry. Thanks to its stunning beaches, historic sites, and friendly atmosphere that draws visitors from all over the world. Beyond tourism, the island's economy also benefits from agriculture with crops like pineapples, mangoes, and citrus fruits grown locally. as well yeah okay mount joy yeah so we're heading into piers right now piers yeah piers village yeah <laughs> to be one of those colonies uh, that were used to grow sugar. That's right, yes. Exported to Europe. To Europe. Okay. That's right, yep. So we are one of the, along with Senkits, Antigua uh -huh. Senkits. Uh-huh. used to be, we used to export a lot of sugar. Okay. Yeah. To England? Yeah, to Europe and a whole, yeah. Antigua was only colonized by the British or did it change hands several times? Well, it was from the Spanish uh -huh. and over to the British. Over to the British? Yeah. Oh, that was no French? No. Okay. So we get independence from the British in 1981. All right. Yeah. 1981. Oh, okay. Okay. That's years late. We had gotten ours in 1963. 1963? Yeah. Okay, not too long, not too far from us. Yeah, about I think Jamaica got this that time. 1963, yeah, yeah, we got about the same year. Same year with Jamaica. Jamaica yeah. Yeah. Betty's Hop was a sugarcane plantation in Antigua. It was established in 1650, shortly after the island had become an English colony. It flourished as a successful agricultural industrial enterprise during the centuries of slavery. It was the first large-scale sugarcane plantation to operate in Antigua and it belongs to the Coddington family from 1674 to 1944. 
Christopher Coddington, later who became the Captain General of the Leeward Islands, acquired the property in 1674 and named it Betty's Hope after his daughter. Now you know. We made it to Betty's Hope. You can see here the sugar mills. It's closed on weekends and public holidays and the entry is two US dollars and children under 10 years is free. So what can you tell us? Yeah, so this is where we um, process our sugar. Mm -hmm. So we have the field at the back where you will grow our sugar canes. Yeah. And they will bring them up to the harvest station where we will grind the sugar. Yeah. All right. We have something called molasses as well. Yeah. So as you see, we have the sugar towers yeah. or the sugar mills. Yeah. They will grind the sugar and squeeze the sugar and yeah. then it will become brown sugar first. Yeah. And then we dye it to get white sugar. Oh. So that's why a lot of people tend to use the brown sugar because it's more natural. More natural. That's yeah. right, yeah. It's more well, healthy as well. All right, it's closed, but we're going to come back on our weekday when it's open. But nowadays it's just for tourism. They don't do the sugar process anymore. There's no, no sugar so, plantation. No, just so you can see. Uh huh. If it will open on a weekend if we have like a lot of cruise ship and stuff like that. Oh. So it depends on the time. Oh, because okay. it's cool, time is slow now. Yeah. So that's why. So you could come in the week, even though it's slow, people yeah. can still come and view. In the weekdays. Yeah, and they have the the office so you can see how it used to be back in the day. All they right. have like a diagram inside. Uh -huh. So you can see how the the setup was. You okay. can see the field, you can see the grinding station to see the sugar mill so you see basically and we still have like um things from way back uh -huh. like the cutlass the different stuff inside of the it's like a museum, a museum. At the same. yeah so all you can right. see yeah all right that's okay. lovely all right but we can come back tomorrow and then i'll show you inside so you can see okay we're gonna come back all right we are leaving Betty's Cove, heading east towards the Devil's Bridge and this drive let me tell you it feels like therapy And sunshine, we're laughing all the time. Sailing feels so fine with friends so divine. Sky so clear today, wind starts our voyage sway. Music guides our way in this ocean bay. We ride the tide with no place to hide under the sky so wide. Together side by side. Chill breeze on our face Love this open space Journey at our pace Leaving every trace We ride the tide With no place to hide Under the sky so wide Together side by side I love passing through the countryside here because you're going to see all these pastel colored Caribbean homes that dot the landscapes in shades of turquoise, pink, and soft yellow. You feel as if each of these is bringing a burst of life into the quiet villages. There's a special kind of peace out here, and once in a while, you're going to catch a glimpse of locals going about their day or children playing by the roadside. This adds to the lively charm of the scene. There's a sense of calm out here that's hard to find anywhere else. Every mile on this road fills me with joy, and I feel deeply connected to the heart of this island. Chase this endless leisure in endless azure measure. I've not 
notice the houses in the Caribbean, the, the designs more or less the same. Yeah, more or less the same, yeah. Yeah. There's some of these ones that are built like on raised surface. Yeah. But in some of the islands, some of the houses have a lot of grills uh -huh. around the windows. Uh -huh. You know, we don't have that. Why? Because the crime. We don't have a lot of crime here. Oh, so it's for crime? Yeah. Antigua is paradise. Welcome to paradise. Hold on, give me a Okay. Welcome to paradise. Whenever you see this sign, just know that you are in Wilkes Village, one of the most popular spots in eastern Antigua. Wilkes is known for its natural beauty with a mix of small beaches and dragged coastlines perfect for snorkeling and coastal exploration. This village holds a lot of historical treasures too, like the Harmony Hall Art Gallery and the St. Philip's Anglican Church. Wilkes offers a laid-back atmosphere inviting everyone to unwind at the beach or explore the coastlines or even dive into the water for sailing and windsurfing activities. As you drive through Wilkes, you're going to notice colorful homes with gardens rich of tropical plants and fruit trees adding to the vibrant burst of colors and life to every corner. It's a spot where natural beauty and rich culture come together offering a true taste of Antigua's East Coast charm. This is the turn to the Devil's Bridge That's right. Hammock Cove Resort. Okay. Yeah. We're going to the Angels Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Devil's Bridge. We're going to the Devil's Bridge. I'm told there's two sides. Is it the Atlantic and the Caribbean? It has the uh, Atlantic side, yeah. Atlantic side, so it's two sides of the sea meeting. Yeah. Okay. That reminds me of uh, the Queen's Bridge. The, the, no, not Queen's Bridge. The Glass Window Bridge in Eleuthera. Let's see the Devil's Bridge. Is this like a national park around here? No. Because I noticed there's no human developments, like it's just bush. Just bush, yeah.
project is another resort being constructed here. Yeah, the same oh, they're expanding. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at how clear. Wow. Welcome to Devil's Bridge, Antigua's Natural Landscape Wonder. Welcome to the Devil's Bridge, one of Antigua's most incredible natural landmarks. It's located on the rugged Atlantic coast near Wilkes Village. Look at that. This is a Devil's Bridge, home of the annual Antigua and Barbuda International Kite Festival every Easter Monday. Oh, okay. So everybody comes here with their kite. Yeah, you bring your entire family, your kids, uh -huh. you know, everyone come out and we spend the day, we have kite flying competition. Yeah. Yeah. And as you notice, it's very windy over here. Yeah, it's, oh yeah, it's a good place for, so good for the kites. Yeah, yeah for the kites. Yeah, it's a, and you, you know, some people walk with the grill, the coolers and you just kick back. So they have a fet. And a tent. Yeah. Ah, nice. The vegetation of this coastal area is dominated by species that are tolerant of low rainfall and a salty, wind-swept environment. On the eastern side of the peninsula, where soils are shallow, only see parse lane and salt grass thrive. On the western side, deeper soils and a more sheltered environment allow small patches of mangrove, yellow balsam, acacia and cactus to grow. So this is the vegetation That's right. of this place. Okay, so this is the geology of the Devil's Bridge. The limestone rocks that make up this area date to the Oligocene period and are millions of years old when the limestone was laid down. It did so in bands or layers which varied in hardness. The softer bands erode away faster leaving the bridge you see today. Okay, this is all we have at the Devil's Bridge. Let's see. Let's now go and see the bridge itself, right? We're gonna get the flag. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and most people, when you come into the bridge, you gotta be very careful because it can be very slippery. Oh. Right? So you gotta be careful how you walk on the bridge uh -huh. or how not to get too close to it. Okay. Because if you fall inside, there's no way of coming back up. The riptides. Yeah. And they have the things that are known in Antigua, the popular black pineapple. The best in the world. The best in the world. Uganda say they have the best pineapple. Eleuthera claims they have the best pineapple too, Bahamas. But no, we have the best man because our pineapple is the black. Not because we say black, it looks black, but you can see the black and it's bigger in the base and it gets narrow uh -huh. as it goes to the crown. I hope we get one today. Yeah, we will. I would we will. Like to taste it so I can um, know. I'll take you on the south side of the island. Okay. And this is our Hawksbill turtle. 
Coxbill Tato. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we went to a beach called Coxbill. Yeah, that's where we have the nude beach. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, I would love to see the nude beach. You want to go and see the nude <laughs> beach? Yes. <laughs> you have to get nude and there's no camera. <laughs> and this is our frigate bird. That's where you see in Barbuda. Yeah, I saw it in Barbuda. Frigate yeah, and bird. this is our deer. We have it in Barbuda as well. The national animal? Yeah, All right. national, yeah. Antigua and Barbuda, the beach is just beginning. Welcome to the Devil's Bridge. All right, I hope, I hope the audio is good, especially because it's very windy. <laughs> it's so windy, no wonder they fly kites here. Oh, that's the bridge yeah. so no water no nothing can be straight it, it's, it's, it's just like that do you think someday maybe the waves gonna crash and break it completely no uh. it, it's been like that for many 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 years oh yeah so. I'm very sure curious people will try to walk across people try to do it all the time some will do it some will actually slip and fall they will die Right? Oh, because of these waves you can't. Yeah, it's very slippery mm -hmm. and it will be hard for them to climb back up. Oh. So, when you come here, you got to be very careful, you know? Yeah. As they say, curiosity kills the cat. What? So some of them, uh -huh. yeah, curiosity kills the cat. So some people will get curious and they will walk on the bridge uh -huh. and they will slip and fall inside. Oh right? my goodness, yeah. So you got to be very, very careful. Okay. And underneath the water is very hot. Hot? Yeah. Also. Yeah. So you gotta be very careful. It's actually calm today. He has days when the water is splashing. Um, the Devil's Bridge is this limestone arc that is shared by powerful ocean waves over centuries. It's a place that is filled with both beauty and history. A lot of tourists or a lot of visitors come to see these blowholes where water sprays up like fountains when the waves hit just right. <laughs> Where are we now? We are at Long Bay now. It's like Long Bay, three yeah. minutes away from Devil's Bridge. Yeah. Wow. Long Bay Beach. I don't know. I think by now I visited 10 beaches. I have 265. <laughs> Two, no, 255. 355 remaining. We still have a lot of beaches. Yeah, and all of them nice. Of course. This one is a beach where a lot of the local people will go. Local people. Yeah. Uh huh. And then it also share two resort of pineapple and the veranda. Uh huh. Yeah. So you see, they have a bathroom for the public, public to use. Yeah. To change. To change. And yeah. shower, wash off from. And there. they also have a bar on the beach. I'm gonna take you there so okay. you can have an antique and drink. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. All right. So here we are. Long. Long Beach, Long Bay. Long Bay Beach. Yeah. What kind of place is Long Bay Beach? Well, it's one of the beaches that's on the eastern side of the island. Yeah. A lot of the locals tends to come here uh -huh. because it's very shallow. Uh -huh. So they, it's good for the kids. Oh. Right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you will have a lot of locals, the family, they will bring the kids over here, you know? Yeah. And it's a good beach. It has two resorts on it. Uh -huh. It has um, pineapple and veranda. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, looks nice and it's very shallow yeah but we do have some seaweed now you know uh -huh. it affects every caribbean island you know yeah where we get seaweed but we don't get uh -huh. much here in antigua uh -huh. so we are grateful for that some 
islands. Uh -huh. Some of the islands, they get the whole beach is full, so they have to close down the resort. You know, our beaches always have a lot of seaweed. Yeah. Like, this is common in our beaches. Yes, but certain time yeah. of the year, we do get. Especially uh -huh. the side that facing the Atlantic. Yeah. On the Caribbean side, we don't really get any on that side. Okay. So, we don't really have it bad, but it can smell really bad, you know? Oh. It will make guests check out of their hotel sometimes. Oh, really? It gets really bad, yeah. So, when it's like this, if this was in front of a resort, they clean it every they day? They clean it every day, every but day. But in the evening, you wake up, you'll find it? Yeah. Okay, I see some people come with tents. Yeah. So, you have people will come and camp out with the kids, you know, for the weekend. Uh -huh. So it's a very safe beach, you know, you can come and relax with your family and, yeah. you know, we still have a lot of tourists on the beach as well. Yeah. Yeah. But mostly, I think, these are mostly people from the area. Yeah, because it's on the eastern side of the island, so you yeah. will have people from Mount Joy, Parham, Willikies, uh -huh. Seaton, you know? Yeah. Because every angle of the island has beach, so people on the south side, they will have beach that they go to. Uh -huh. People on the north side, on the western side of the island, they have yeah. beach that they go to as well. Okay, so, so what resort is that you said? It's Pineapple Resort. Pineapple Resort. Yeah, all it's right. an all-inclusive resort. Uh -huh. No kids allowed. It's a very nice place to come and relax for a weekend, you know? Okay. Yeah. All right, adopted Kenyan. We are adopting you. Of course, we I are love adopted Africa. Kenyan. Well, I've actually been to Kenya and Uganda already, East Africa. You need to come back to Kenya. Okay, Again. I will come back. I will Again. come back. <laughs> For sure. All right, all right. So they also have a bar. Look at some big, big song they want. Yeah, yeah. Big you said the type of song from the beach, you know, looks yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it easy, you know? Yeah, yeah. So we have African Tigers here. She's from Africa. Africa. And she's a YouTuber. Okay. Yeah. Okay, nice knowing you. Nice knowing you. You can go check out on YouTube. Yes, I will do that. Yeah, all okay, right. The, all right, thank you. Island, right? <laughs> All the best. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice all right, nice uh, knowing you too. So they have a bar here for yeah, drinks. That's, that's the beach bar, yeah. Yeah. So you want to go have a drink there? Yeah. All right. Which drink do you suggest? You should have the coconut sunset. That's a good one. Why? Well, taste a bit of the island. It's an island flavored drink. Okay, yeah. I would have wanted pineapple sunset. Oh, you want to have a... I love this. I yeah. know many people might not notice, but this is Antigua. It is Antigua. And in a pineapple. And in a pineapple. Yeah. Right. I would want one of those if we can yeah, get I'll, them somewhere. I will order you one. All right, right? cool. Let's all go get something. Sure. Refreshing. Of course. So I'm having an amaretto sour. Amaretto sour. Yeah. Mm. I want you to have it. Something I don't know the name. A coconut sunset. A coconut sunset. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having a coconut sunset. Mm. I'm just hearing Afro beats everywhere. Island life, it's so hot. Alright, so we're leaving the Beach. Next stop, we're going to Stingray City. Stingray City. That's right. Right. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high 
trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Stingray City down there. So uh, this is Stingray City. So if you want to swim with stingrays, this is where you come. Down here is where the Stingray City is, and then you're gonna take a boat from there and go behind those islands, and you can swim with stingrays. So I'm gonna insert a clip of that because i've already done that so i'm going to insert a clip of that right here but yeah it's a very beautiful experience and yeah for me it was kind of a little bit scary because i'm not used to anything touching me when i'm in water but yeah it's an experience definitely this is something that you should try when you visit antigua and barbuda the stingray city down there Fun and infallible, Mallet and Dula, Mallet and Dula, and the Mallet and Dula. A fun and infallible, Mallet and Dula, Mallet and Dula, and the Mallet and Dula. Right here is the house. This is where on a Sunday night that's where a lot of the locals, well more mature crowd will come and have a party. Roadhouse. Yeah. Okay, it looks like Roadhouse is the same because even Roadhouse in Kenya yeah. is also a place for uh, I think a lot of mature people. Yeah. And also for Nyamachoma. Nyamachoma is like mm -hmm. uh barbecue goat is very common. Barbecue goat? Yeah, goat. What you call it? Goat meat, Nyamachoma. Nyamachoma, okay. Yeah, so they they have good Nyamachoma there. Okay. Yeah, and it's also called Roadhouse. Okay, okay, so it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so that side is looking over to where we're going, to English Harbour, that area. So that's the south? No. Uh -huh. English Harbour is, not, is basically southeast. Southeast? Yeah. Okay. So it's still, as you can see, it's still facing the Atlantic side. Oh, okay. Another short break to just take in the beauty and the views of beautiful Wadadli. In case you didn't know, Antigua's original name was called Wadadli. So Wadadli means lovely. So look at that. So we're going to be going around and we're going to be heading towards that side towards the English Harbour. This is sweet Antigua. A very big solar farm. Yeah, we have two in Antigua. We have one here uh -huh. and we have one in um, by the airport. Is this supplying part of the country? Yes, yeah. Okay. Part of it, yeah. One of the airports is the airport. Yeah. to St. Paul's Parish. I'm going to tell you more about it in a few, but right now let's talk about this village that we are going through. It's called Bethesda. It's a very small and peaceful village and it's located in the southeastern coast of Antigua. One thing about Bethesda is that it's going to offer you some beautiful views of rolling hills and you're even going to have views of the nearby coastline. It's so friendly and it's a very great spot for people who are looking to experience the quiet side or quieter side of the island and just a short distance from here is the Indian Creek which is a very scenic area and it's so popular for bird watching and nature walks I mean Bethesda is a perfect place to experience Antigua's local life away from the busy tourist areas
Like I mentioned earlier, we are now in St. Paul's Parish, which is located on the southern coast of Antigua. It's very vibrant and it's known for its rich history and scenic landscapes and lively communities. Do you know why? This is because this is the home of the island's most famous attractions like the Nelson's Dockyard in English Harbour, the St. Paul's Parish. This is where Antigua's past and the present meet. Apart from this parish being the home to the Nelson's Dockyard, it's also the home to Shelley Heights. This is one of the historical places and you can hike to Shelley Heights for stunning views of the harbor and you can also be able to see neighboring islands like Montserrat from Shelley Heights. We're going to be visiting that place later but I'm so excited. I've always wanted to visit English Harbor and I'm so excited to be finally here. So this parish is also known to have very beautiful beaches. We're going to stop by some of them. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yakata Yakata Mane To English Harbor Alright, alright Oh, Shali Heights first? Which one first? Okay, let's do Shali Heights Shali Heights first Okay I'm told there's something that happens in Shali Heights in weekends. Which one are we coming across first? English Harbor or Shali Heights? Shali Heights. Okay. It's on Thursday and Sunday. Thursdays and Sunday. Well, Sunday is the more busy. It's more busy on Sunday. Okay. You need a ticket to get into Shelly Heights and other places around this area, other historic places that is. So we decided to turn back and go and start our adventure or our historic tour from Nelson's Dockyard and then we'll come to Shelly Heights later. So let's go down to Nelson's Dockyard and then we'll come back here and see other places that the ticket can allow us to visit. I see a cannon here. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. 
Oh, it's so windy, so we are at Nelson's Dockyard. That's right. What's the place? What's Nelson Dockyard? It's basically a historical site. It's uh -huh. also um, a dock where we have a lot of boats coming back. Uh huh. Yeah. So oh, I see. One of the lookout. Yeah. We protect our port. Oh. Yeah, so it's the English. Oh, yeah. I actually think I saw they fort. said mm -hmm. it's a UNESCO also UNESCO site. Yeah, that's right. World Heritage Site. Yes, yes. Oh. So you have like um, the museum inside here. Mm-hmm. Restaurant. Yeah, you, you restaurants. You have the shop. You have the different lookouts. That's why you saw the cannon. So we oh. have some other cannons as well. Oh yeah, I see them. So you have different points where they will tell you about it, right? Okay. So they have the dockyard bakery. Located at the back of museum. That's right. Looks like an ancient city. It is, man. You want to have a look in the museum really quick? Let's see. Dockyard museum. Oh, these are the ships. Yeah, that's the boat that's used to discover to this, sail. discover the island. Uh, Ali settlement of English Harbour. Yeah. Oh wow. So they also have some artifacts from back in the days. That's right. A merchant vessel. That's one of the best Oh, and this is the layout. That's right, yeah. The layout of the Nelson Harbor? Yeah. Nelson Dockyard. Yeah. Coral reef, coral fishes, the beach. Oh, so where are we? I see there is Falmouth, Falmouth Harbor, there is Windward Bay, there is English Harbor. So we at English Harbor. We at English Harbor. And then you have Pillars of Hercules. Like a, this is a famous rock where a lot of people will hike around. Oh, Pillars yeah. of Hercules. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I see Rendezvous Bay on that side. That's right. Yeah. Oh, so this is Indian Creek, Clarence House, Baxter Memorial Methodist Church. That's right, yeah. yeah. So Falmouth Harbor is the big one where you have the mega yachts they will pull into Falmouth. Into the Falmouth Yeah, Harbor. and then the smaller one will come into English, English Harbor. English Harbor. Yeah. Oh, okay. Indian Creek. Memora. Memora Bay. Alright, so this is the layout. We are here at the English Harbour. So a uh, little walking tour of Nelson's Dockyard. Nelson's Dockyard is in English Harbour. Yeah. Okay, so this is English Harbour. Yeah. Looks like they have so many high-end restaurants here. Yeah. Like top, nice restaurants. Yeah, of course, yeah. They have nice restaurants. Uh huh. Oh, wait. Customs and immigration? Yeah, because it's a port of entry. Oh, it's a port of entry. Event. Ooh. Oh, I see them. 
Let's go this way. I would love to. This is Antigua. How beautiful is this? Marina office. If you have a wedding or an event to that side, you can get some grounds here for your event. This place kind of reminds me of like the mountains, the hills, not the hill, the mountains, the hills. They don't have no mountains in Antigua. The hills, they remind me of Charlottesville, Tobago. The greenery. Wow. Ooh, all right, so this is the Nelson dockyard and of course it's one of the places that you should visit when you come to Antigua make sure you come down to English Harbour don't forget to check out this Nelson dockyard it's a very popular place and it was used to accommodate the Royal Navy warships the crews and stores and it was used to protect the island you know Napoleon France used to wage a lot of war during those days so this one was actually built to protect you can look at it at some point it kind of looks like a fort so this one was to protect the island from the war against France and Napoleon but let's walk out through this side Antigua is beautiful There, you don't think there's a way out? A raw unfiltered tour of Nelson Dockyard. English Harbour Oh, it's also for sale So if you also want to buy Hi Can you buy this? Never, <laughs> not right now <laughs> It's for sale <laughs> yeah. I wonder how much it would cost would have been curious to call and know. You want to call him? Yeah. The number? Yeah. Let me check the number and then I'll call. Let's see. Let's find out. How much? 726 2232. All right. Let's find out. It's Hello. Richard. Hi, how are you doing? I'm alright, thanks. What can I do for you? Oh, well, I was just so uh, here at uh, Nelson Dockyard. That's up for sale. Oh, the catamaran in Nelson's Dockyard? Yeah. Sure, that's a Barley 4.3 and I've got it listed at 350,000 US dollars. 350,000 US dollars? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Would you, would you like to take a look at the boat? Uh, are you close by? Yes, but it's a Sunday. <laughs> okay, so only on weekdays. So tomorrow, maybe tomorrow afternoon. Give me three hundred and fifty thousand US dollars. <laughs> Love this medicine. <laughs> That's how I'm manifesting. That's how I'm manifesting. Maybe I'll just start with a small boat. You know, like a small boat that you can't really stay in it. And then you graduate slowly. Whew. So this is Nelson's dockyard. 
used to be like a fort to protect the island. I'm sure this conch, conch was just put there. It's conch shell. Uh, conch shell. Yeah. Do you eat conch? Yeah, of course. It's good for the men. It's <laughs> the pistol. Eh? The pistol. The conch itself. The conch itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was told the pistol is good for the male in Bahamas. Yeah, the conch. In the Bahamas. We normally carry it. Oh, carry conch? Yeah, and fungi. And fungi? Yeah. No thanks, no sir. Yes sir, take it easy, bro. I'll take you to taste it maybe sometime in the week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too Kenyan for that. <laughs> yeah, but when you're in Antigua, you have to. I have to try it. You have to try, it, right? Mm. It's the same when I go to Kenya. I'll have to. I'll try. Kenya. Our food is simple. The kind of food is simple too. No, like we don't eat like anything that looks like a snail, and conch looks like a snail. We just eat fungi and vegetables and eggs. <laughs> so we don't eat anything unusual. So you can eat everything. Oh, thank you for visiting Nelson's Dockyard. Be sure to visit other sites of the park. Dow's Hill Interpretation Center, Blockhouse and Shelley House. Yeah, that's where you're going Shelley to go Heights. Yeah. All right. Shelley House. This one. Okay. Uh -huh. That one is the block house. Yeah. And the little building there is the interpretation center where you get a video of the history of the island. Okay. And this is in here, the Nelson Stockyard. You're here, this is where you go in. Okay. All right, all right. So, at the lookout, what can I see? It's just a lookout point. Okay. It's a nice view and everything. Oh, yeah. Do you get to see like other islands and something like that? If it's clear, yeah, you can see Bunstrat and so, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, thank you. Thank you All right, have a good day. All right, you too, baby. Okay, so I got my ticket. Takes you to three places. Nelson Dockyard, Shelley Heights, and everywhere. And Blockhouse, and Blockhouse. Oh, <sighs> okay, got my ticket. Shelley Heights is one of Antigua's most famous viewpoints. It offers breathtaking panoramic views of the English harbor and the sparkling Caribbean Sea. In the past, this was a military lookout and signal station. You know, Shelley Heights was strategically important for the British forces during the colonial period because of its location. And this is it's a very important must visit for an incredible sunset on a clear day. My goodness, the sunsets are so breathtaking. The landscapes are beautiful and you can capture the natural beauty of the island from this place. On Sunday evenings, Shelley Heights comes alive for the famous Sunday sunset party, a vibrant gathering where locals and visitors enjoy live music, the steel pan, there's dancing, delicious local food, while others just go there to just watch the sun deep below the horizon. This place has a lot of rich history, the views are stunning, the atmosphere is lively, like, I mean, this must be in your bucket list whenever you visit Antigua. Oh my goodness, the wind. Did we come from that side? Yeah, behind yeah. yeah, behind that side because we could see that. Oh wow. That house straight over there is Eric Captain's house. Uh-huh. Eric Captain. Does somebody stay there? No? Yeah. Oh. This side is all the Atlantic side. Yeah. We're going to Shirley Heights and we're going to show you the Caribbean side. Okay. Shelly Heights. Ooh, what a formation, what a view. Sh 
Shirley Heights now. Yeah, we at Shirley Heights. Uh huh. This is one of the favorite spot in Antigua. Everybody on my a comment Sunday. Section. Uh huh. Here's the party atmosphere, man. Here's the vibe on a Sunday, also on a Thursday. But most people uh -huh. like to come on a Sunday. Sunday evening. I if guess. you're not into the crowd, you come basically on a Thursday. Thursday. Because on a Sunday it will be packed. Oh, I see somebody sending a drone out. Hello. Hello, good day. Oh, everybody in my comments was telling me about Shirley Heights. Yeah, it's a good place, man. Atmosphere. Uh huh. So you see, these made with um coconut leaves. The, uh, the bow, yeah. So the neck. The veins, yeah. So creative. Hello. So that's down at the English Harbour Nelson's dockyard to that side. So picturesque. So they're getting they're getting ready for later. Yeah. So there's going to be pan everything. Yeah, so you're gonna have the steel band, you're gonna uh -huh. have um, a live band afterwards. After uh -huh. the steel band, you're gonna have a live band. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I'm you, told on a clear day you can see Montserrat yeah, and so other on islands. A day, yeah, on a clear day you will but see St. Like... Kitts, you will see Montserrat. Montserrat is actually 20 miles away from Antigua. Uh -huh. So you will see Montserrat very good. You will okay. see St. Kitts, you will see Nevis, uh -huh. and then you will see Guadeloupe. Oh. Well, I guess because of the, the storm that coming in, it kind of changed the weather. Hurricane Barry. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? You okay? Yeah. This guy, he has the plan. He makes all the best hats. Oh, right? he makes all the best hats. Oh, all so all oh, this here. is his work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, You can nice. see he makes like so out of the veins and the hat, yeah. the turtle. He's very creative. Oh. He's actually one of the most creative guys on that island. Oh, nice. Nice meeting you, sir. How are you? I'm good. My name is Mansfield. Mine is Lynn. Lynn? Yeah. And she's, from, like, eh? she's from um, Africa, Kenya. Yeah, and I think I see her on the, on the blogging top. Oh, on YouTube? Yeah. Yes. Oh. And you do different African countries. African Tigress, yes. Yeah. And you, and African do, Tigress yes, on YouTube, and you yes. you do different countries. Yes. So you come to do Antigua. Yes. But right. some in Antigua, you must get the true story because you know, all the stories are true. Correct. So tell me the true story. Like what you want to know. I don't know. You say not all the story is correct. No, but what do you want to know? Then I'll tell you the story of, of it. Okay, tell us about Charlie Heights. Or, or one time ago, the French used to took this away from the English, yeah. so they used to own this too. Okay. At, at Shirley Heights. This is the English history, yeah. which we the young ones don't really care about it anymore. Uh -huh. They have it for, for fighting, we have it for party. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so That's a good one. They used to, to, head, to have it for what you have it for party. party. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. so, Shirley Heights, let me make you a little thing. Okay. African Tigers. Yes. Oh, wow. So he's going to make you something. Oh, he's making me something? Yeah. Okay. Africa. In Africa, yeah. they have lots of this art yeah. in, woven into a lot of stuff that the English Mm -hmm. and, the, and, the, and, the, and the Rome and everyone took away from Africa. Oh, yeah. And a lot of things was done with woven with the palm. Yeah. And they still have them of today. Yeah, they have them, some of them in their museum. This, this is like a bunch of rose, right? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> His work is... I'm, so I'm unique you. and creative. Of course. <laughs> so you it's like Antigua? I love Antigua. I love Antigua. Oh, land of peace. Hey, Van well, Hey, Ven of West. Oh, look at that. You, you got to give your husband a kiss for that. Where is oh, he? <laughs> I have no husband. Well, this is your husband now. <laughs> this is my husband now. <laughs> I'm an old man, so. Uh-huh. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. I'm 69. 69. Wow. 69. 69. 69. <laughs> oh, wow. That's beautiful. You're so strong. 
Mm -hmm. And creative, I can't believe. Look at this, I rose in just seconds. In seconds, right? Yeah. You, you deserve a dozen a day, but you're only gonna get one today. I love it, I love it. Yeah, I love this, I love it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, That's a fish. oh yeah. So wow. You put it in here like this. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, don't wanna wait. Alright, hey, hold this one. I'm getting a crowd. Oh. Okay. So we're gonna have to call you Queen of the Caribbean now. Queen of the you Caribbean. The, it's not me who say it. You see the camera? You said it. You see the camera with your eh? Yeah. yeah. That a very powerful deadly camera. That's right. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, camera there. One guy make a big one guy fishing. Yeah. And you even see the fish and the water. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. I take yeah. the bait and yeah. we catch the fish and then I'll go and eat the cook scale the fish. Uh -huh. And you make a movie or them. A movie? Yeah. Uh -huh. And put them on the computer and then send them back to me. So he's making you a crown. Ooh, look at that. I'm getting crowned in Antigua. I'm yeah. getting crowned in Antigua. From the king. From, From the, the king. king. <laughs> Antigua. Okay, the king is crowning me. All right. She thinks that we're going to go and see me king. I'm not joking. He's the king for real. Wait. You can open and you can close. Oh, oh you can open and you can close. Yes, How does it look? Fine, you look fine. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten minus nothing. Let me give you the rules. Sorry. You give me the rules. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you so much. You don't kiss the road, you should kiss me or him. <laughs> look at my goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Thank go have a drink so inside. Much. We're gonna get you a drink. We're gonna get you a drink? You do? Yeah, oh, I'm only gonna have a ginger beer. Ginger beer. So I got you ginger beer. We've so come, she gets she, she gets so much from me. Yeah. And she learn you learn about the word daddy. Don't let them fool you. Uh -huh. And give you crap. Okay, the best thing with this is to take pictures no more. I, I I have you're going to see my stingray video. If you go on YouTube, I know I, I, I went underwater with it so you can see the stingray, the and fish. Slow more, slow more, okay. Yes. This is the, this is what I'm gonna make before Apple come out. Apple have a better fruit. Mm -hmm. I'll, have a, I'll have a better camera than that now. Yeah? Uh-huh. The Apple. Oh. Hello. 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 I bring you the all guys, the, the, um, the Caribbean <laughs> Queen. <laughs> From Africa. <laughs> um, you tell her what you want. Ginger beer. Ginger beer. Yeah. Ginger beer. It cleans the kidney and the liver. Yeah. Okay. You have the meat or the ice? Yeah. Oh, you want ice? Yeah. Okay. No ice for me. Okay. Thank you. Ginger beer. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. You use this in Kenya, right? Yeah, we have this. Very refreshing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very refreshing. Love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ooh. Coming out with goodies. Been crowned the queen with rose, and and I can give you a fish. I won't give you my rose. <laughs> and a crown. This is from the coconut leaves, right? Yeah. Yeah. The veins. The veins of the coconut. What's our next stop? Pigeon Point Beach. Pigeon Point. People will bring their kids and family. Uh -huh. If you notice, a lot of cars, right? Yeah, there's a lot of cars. Yeah, so a lot of people is here on the beach. Okay. Um, they even have like play parks for the kids. Okay. Like okay, let's check out beach number 100.
I think at this moment I've broken the records of the number of beaches I've visited in Antigua and Barbuda. I can't even count them. I've done two in Barbuda and I don't know how many here. Oh, so this is the park it has so kids can come and play. Mm -hmm. Also mostly for the locals. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Beach free? The huh? Free? All the park? No, like using this? Yeah, it's free, yeah. Oh, okay. All beaches in Antigua is free. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. See, people come with their food. Yeah. To line. So if you notice, right, a lot of kids on the beach today. Yeah. You know? So this one is our pigeon point. Pigeon point. Yeah. Looks like people are having so much fun. Of course. Come with That's what kids. we do. We have fun in, in Antigua. All day, all Every year day. round. Yeah. For that. Let's go. Today we're not going to be swimming, just giving you like um, a oh, view oh, oh. of some of the popular beaches and you know, yeah, just an island tour here so, uh, in I'm Antigua. Yeah. Going through the whole island. Huh? Oh, you can go. come with your food. Okay. Okay, cool. Hang out with your family and friends. You can do a party here, you know. And they also have bathrooms, public bathrooms on the uh -huh. beach, straight ahead. Free. Okay. Well, yeah. you just pay a little tip something, just oh. to, for the cleaners and, you know, oh. restart the, the toilet papers. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. It's like one, one dollar. Take you right. So this is Falmouth Harbor? Yeah. You say it's a big what? A big yacht that the government took? No, no, no. Well, yeah. It's basically, um, it's one of the Russian yacht. You know, they, um, they took a few yachts from the oligarchs, from the Russian guys. Uh -huh. That's one of them. Oh. Mm -hmm. Why? Why did they take them? Because, you know, they invade Ukraine, you know, the oh. country. So they put a lot of sanction. Oh, you didn't have so, any in Africa. So they're based now, not Africa. Africa was not in support of uh, most of Africans who are like, that's not our war. We are not fighting other people's war. Right, right. Yeah, like I you understand. Know. Yeah. Oh. This is the yacht club. Right okay, Falmouth. Yeah. Antigua Yacht Club. Yeah. Okay. So that's the duck. You want to go really quick? Yeah, let's do it quick because the rain yeah, is coming. Oh. So this is where they pack the super yacht. Yeah, this is the pier where there's the mega yacht so uh -huh. So right here is like in a restaurant. You can get it. Stuff like that. Uh. But when you come in the season, yeah, yeah, like that, and even bigger, you will uh -huh. have like maybe they'll be here full, full, yeah. Uh. So they're probably going to another destination, maybe Italy. Oh, like it's warm. Europe, it's summer now. No, I don't think we can be allowed in. Mm -hmm. See, they say not unauthorized. Yeah. So this is the dock where you will have most uh -huh. of the mega yachts. Okay. Park here. So that one is the Alpha Nero. That's Alpha the name Nero. of the yacht. Uh -huh. Yeah. Russian. I see it has a Russian flag. You see a Russian flag? Right? Yeah, that's a Russian flag. That's our flag? No, now. no, that's Antiguan. It belongs to Antigua now. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, when when the wind was blowing, it looked Russian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the flag has red, white, and yeah, the flag is blue. red. Yeah, it's, so a, it's that's, like an American flag, but it's different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same color. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I saw. Like you know, the yellow was folded, so I only saw. Yeah, the, so yeah. the, the weather now start to come, maybe because of the storm. Yeah, so, let's run. Club sushi. If you're into sushi, that's the spot. Oh no, I'm not into sushi. <laughs> Raw fish, 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 fish. I don't like fishy things. You don't like fishy things? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Man. So now we're gonna go into the rainy forest when it to the rainforest when it's raining. Right? Yeah. Well that's if the rain reach over there as Oh, so sometimes it might just be here. Yeah, that's how it rains in Antigua. This place looks like a place that's good, that's vibrant, especially in the evenings. Yeah, if you come over here, like when it's season, yeah, it's one of the best places to be in Antigua. Ah. Like during the tourism season. Yeah. Yeah. There shall be showers of blessings. As the rain began to fall, the weather quickly shifted, changing our plans a bit. Unfortunately, this means that we'll have to skip some activities and stops along the way. But there's something magical about a road trip in the rain. Seeing the island through the misty lens adds a new kind of beauty to this experience. Let's take this as an opportunity to soak in the scenery of this rainy day. It's wonderful to witness the island in its full personality. I mean, we've had the sunny, we've had windy moments to this rain now. So let's sit back and enjoy this ride together.
We are still hoping to pick up the famous Antiguan black pineapple along the way. But with the rain, many of the places are closed. But we are keeping our fingers crossed. <laughs> The black pineapple is a treat worth waiting for and who knows maybe you will come across a stand or a market that's open you know either way the journey continues rain or shine from the motherland she rises high with a voice that reaches to the sky Real and raw, she stands so tall The Empress reigns above them all Smart and sharp, her mind's a gem Her words shine out like a precious stem Content queen, she's got the vibe In her kingdom, we all subscribe African tigress, you're the real deal Your light shines bright, it's what we feel from coast to coast you lead the way In the motherland you rule the day She's got the magic in her hands Creating dreams on golden sands Her spirit's stronger than the rest An impress who is truly blessed No one can match her mighty wave Bold and fearless she's so shines bright it's what we feel from coast to coast you lead the way in the motherland you rule the day The rainforest. We get to see that a lot of rain. Yeah, like uh, like the rainforest in Tobago, the people who stay there, they receive a lot of rain. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And sometimes it rains just at the rainforest, and it doesn't train any other part of the country. Same here. Ah. Oh. So they get a lot of rain. And it's cooler here. It's much cooler. Yeah. yeah. It's not mango season here, I think all the mangoes are done. Yeah, he's gonna come back next month to August. Oh. From July, August, yeah, we're gonna start getting more. Oh, oh, that's the mango season here. Yeah. In this area, we have a lot of mango trees, a lot. Okay. That is forest up there. Nobody living. Which parish are we in? Right now, 
Yeah. I would say um, St. Paul. St. Paul. We are now in Antigua's rainforest. It's so beautiful. This is like a green escape in the southwest part of the island. Yeah, we are actually in the southwest part of the island. And this place offers a nice change from the beaches. You know, Antigua is known to be having 365 beaches. So in case you want to experience something different, this is the place to be. These very tall trees, these winding paths, and these unique plants here that create a very cool and shady forest. The rainforest is also home to colorful birds like the Antillian crested hummingbird and parrots. So this is a very great spot for those ones who love bird watching, you know. Visitors can walk along the trails or even try ziplining through the trees for an exciting view from above. So whether you decide to go hiking, spotting the birds or enjoying the fresh air, this Antiguan forest is a very peaceful place when you are exploring the island. You should give it a try. All right, so zipline antique. If you wanna come for zipline, this is the place in the rainforest. Yeah. Look at how green, calm and peaceful this area is. Nice view. So we are deep south, yeah. like the very south of the island now. Very south, yeah. What's the name of this area? Old Road. Old Road. It's a nice resort over there. That's correct. Kalai Bay. Yeah. Because it's raining, I really yeah, can't get to show you the place. Yeah, we skipped some places because of the rain, but yeah. yeah. This is the very south of the island. Bye. 
165 euros each for one day of the year. Oh, the black pineapple. Yeah, I want to try the black pineapple. I want to try the black pineapple from Tega. Old Road Village. stops for a few seconds and then it's back yeah called boggy peak boggy so peak. people that hike it they will walk here this trail yeah and go straight up the hill and then go okay mm. that's the highest peak right of the whole island of the whole island yes yeah okay but it won't do us any good
So different crabs on the hill here. <laughs> Plenty crabs. We have a lot of crabs. Oh. But that's just the name of the area though. Crab Hill. Yeah. Good beach. Yeah. One of your favorites. Yeah, one of my favorite. I was getting a call away Okay. This is one. actually one of my favorite beaches. Let's go on the beach. Okay, right? cool. Okay, this you like the beaches that start with the letter D. Dakud. Dakud. Dickinson. Dickinson. Yeah. That one you also said I show sure we have favorite. beach. Yeah, I have. We show sure we have beach with all the alphabet. I show sure so because uh -huh. we have so many. Uh huh. So this one is a good one, especially when the cruise ship is in. Yeah. This beach will be full of the passengers. Okay, this is a hot spot where the taxi guys will bring the cruise ship passengers to relax for the day. Uh huh. Yeah, and they have a nice beach bar here. Oh. Yeah, where they can get drinks, they can get food. Uh huh. And straight ahead you have the Tamron Hill Resort. Tamarind Hill. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. I can't dispute. The beaches are really lovely. Yeah, we do have some nice beaches here. Lots of them. I wish I could swim, but today we want to have a glimpse so that we can be able to see which one is our favorite. So far of the ones you've seen, which one do you like? Which one is your favorite of the ones you've seen? It feels like the rain has decided to be our travel companion today. Every time we make a little stop, it shows up again. It's following us on this adventure, right? But maybe, you know, that just adds to the adventure. It's like the island wants to show us all of its different moods. I've been to Fry's Beach. That's where you go and cook Coco. Uh, Co Kai coconut. Kai coconut. That's yeah, the, Fry's Beach. It's like the floating bar. Like yeah, the, the bar. floating bar. Cars here again, 
So a lot of people on the island, they come to the beach on a Sunday, oh. most of them. Okay. Yeah. I can see. They're playing. Are they playing hockey or what am I seeing? It's either football or cricket. Oh, cricket, yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Hockey, yeah uh, cricket, cricket. Baseball. We do have some baseball, you know. Yeah. We have the Spanish community here. Uh -huh. They play a lot of baseball on a Sunday as well. But uh -huh. the most popular is soccer. It's football, we call it. Football? Yeah, football, yeah. And we have a nice restaurant here by the name of Dennis. He's a local guy. Yeah. And you can get some of the best fish here. That's the restaurant right here. Oh. Yeah. I'll drive you so you can see. So this is the sign. Dennis that Bash. Guy. Yeah, man. He, he does some good local food. So if you want to get local food, mm -hmm. that's the spot. Right here is the spot to come. You see that? Oh, this it's, is... It's like a nice little lookout. You know? Oh, and restaurant. And restaurant, yeah. All right. written books some have a great look that covers the magazines for kids who are 17 but i don't know what to do staring into the blue sky and just waiting for a sign some they are certain of what awaits them when it all ends but i don't know what will happen to me will i be remembered in this century or will i be forgotten like dust in the wind or the talk of the town that we are living in well i don't know i don't know how could i know what lies ahead of me am i part of a grander master plan will i be washed away Someone who's left their age Reading from a torn out page From a book filled with lies But I don't know what to do I'm staring into the blue sky And just waiting for a sign Some they are certain Of what awaits them When it all ends But I don't know What will happen to me Will I be remembered in a century Or will I be forgotten Like dust Well, I don't 
Crafts market. You should, you should. But I've been to the vegetable market. Yeah, this one. Yeah, the, that's the vegetable market. Oh, and here is the West Bus Tail. The West. Yeah, we terminal. walked around here with Tamba. With Tamba, okay, good. Yeah. And we have the fish market right here. Uh huh. Fish market. Complex. Yeah, we bought fish here. Okay, good. Yeah. Stuff. And oh. then we have the meat market. The meat market. We right met there. the butcher here. Yeah, that's Yeah, this the is the meat market. And this is our first prime minister pc bird the father of the nation that's right yeah. so that's the statue right there and this street is market street right uh -huh. this is the main street in antigua i'm told on saturday mornings very busy extremely extremely busy yeah Yeah, the 
Antiguan Recreation Ground. So that's the old cricket stadium. Oh, it's called what ground? Antigua Recreation Ground. Recreation Ground. Yeah, and then we have the government, the Governor General House is straight ahead. Oh. Yeah. And this is the East Bus Station Terminal. So where we passed earlier was the West. West, yeah. yeah it's much smaller. Oh, okay. Uh, so the buses here go to the east? To the eastern side of the island, like um, Willicky, Piers, Parham eastern side of the island. The airport is also to the east. Yeah. And right here is our prison. This uh -huh. is the prison right here. Right? So it's okay. next to the recreation ground. So when the West Indies was playing, they hit the ball over into the prison. That's how good our team was. Oh, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At least, uh, unfortunately, prisoners can't even enjoy the, the, the match. Yeah, but they will hear, they will hear they the noise. They will hear the noise, they yeah. will know how it's going. And that's where we have our carnival too. So they will hear the, the carnival. Oh, noise. so carnival is also, this is the main ground. There's, yeah. there's a major stage here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. This road is Old Palm Road. Old Palm Road. Yeah. Ah, yawning. Now we're coming up. This is our um, track and field complex. Track and field complex. Right here, Yasko. So that's no right here over here. Oh, okay. So this is where we do all of our track and field. Okay. Yeah. You I can, can run. Yeah, I can run for Antigua because you know I'm a Kenyan. So if you guys need someone for long distance running, all right. I can represent. You can. For long distance running, we do, we don't. I sprint, but we don't. We are we have endurance as Kenyans, so we go long distance. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you truly enjoyed it and you learned something new. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button. Share. Please share this episode. I will say sharing is caring. So go ahead and share this episode and I will definitely see you on the next one. Until then, Kwaheri, bye-bye. Au revoir. Ciao.